guys, my name is Coach Shardongs to Born, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a very, very special video. Now, I said in yesterday's video from Tajur's Summerland, uh, which I pre recorded today, that we've got something very exciting coming uh, on the following day, which is today. And we've got this exciting video from Silverwood Theme Park. Now, we spoke uh, just a couple of days ago about Stunt Pilot, their brand new Rocky Mountain Construction RMC single rail slash raptor coaster coming in 2021. Now, I wanted to find out a little bit more about why they came up with this, and also some questions I'm sure some of you may be wanting to ask. So, I've got with me uh, Jordan Carter from Silverwood Theme Park. Jordan, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank you so much. It's fantastic to um, to be to have you on the show, to have you on the channel, and uh, just to answer a couple of questions that I've got about the ride, because I'm very excited after seeing the announcement. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, it's it's been a long time since we've added something new here at the park, so we're we're excited to to answer any questions. That's fantastic to hear. So the first question I've really got is, yeah, what made you come up with the idea of a single rail roller coaster theme to stunt pilots? Yeah, so the single rail coaster has been really kind of in the works for for a while. Um, we heard about it and we were very interested in it, and then. Um, the talks kind of fizzled out, but um, we still had them in the back of our heads. And um, after uh, the year 2020 and kind of what that all has been for theme parks, it, it kind of fell back into our laps and uh, we had to take advantage of it because um, it was a perfect fit uh, for exactly where we wanted to put it. Yeah, I think that an RMC will definitely be a good fit for the park. Um, so the next question really I have is, you know, why a stump themed playing coaster? You know, what does it tie in and what kind of history for those of the people that don't know about the announcement and the theme of the ride? Yeah, so uh, the Stunt Pilot is really the perfect theme for, for Silverwood because um, before Silverwood was even a theme park, this land that we're sitting on right now um, was an airstrip. And then as uh, we opened the park in 1988, we had air shows here every day uh, for the next eight years until 1996. So really tying back to the nostalgia of how the park began, um, with the air shows, a lot of people in the area, they remember going to those air shows every week and, and seeing some of the, the, the big names like the Red Baron coming out and um, doing these really cool stunt maneuvers. And um, with a single rail coaster, that's exactly how you're going to feel sitting in that inline, inline trains and um, with nothing to your right, nothing to your left, and just straddling that track. It's going to feel like you're, you're in the middle of that biplane going going through the track and performing these maneuvers. Yeah, I think that an RMC from the reviews it's been getting from the enthusiasts definitely offers that kind of experience. Um, so the name Stunt Pilot, why go for that kind of name? Does it just fit with the whole air show storyline with the, the whole history of the park or did just Stunt Pilot just come out of the, the creativity of the park? So we've, we went through a whole bunch of different names uh, before landing on Stunt Pilot. Um, a lot of them, we, it didn't just have that oomph impact. Um, and also just the, the theming of the ride. Um, the idea of someone coming to an air show is kind of our idea. Uh, they, they're coming to an air show. One of the, the pilots has dropped out, and now you're learning this, these maneuvers. Yeah, it definitely has that kind of impact compared to previous names that could have been chosen. Um, so the next question I've really got there is, was Rocket Mountain Construction the first choice for manufacture of this roller coaster, or were there ones being discussed at the same time before the ultimate decision was RMC? Uh, it, was, it was always RMC. So um, we have a, a good history with RMC going back to uh, when Fred Grubb used to work for Silverwood. Um, so... Uh, they've done a lot of things for us, but never a ground up coaster. And so um, we've always wanted that to happen, especially um, just for the area, for our local area. Yeah, I definitely think um, I definitely think that that is a great choice. RMC, of course, we guys know about RMC. We know the work they've been doing with the hybrids, the i boxes, uh, and then going into the single rail tracks. So we obviously we know we know what's to come with the T Rex in a few years' time. But for the Raptor coasters. You know, this is their development time, so of course it is one of the number one choices of coasters for, you know, a good part like Silverwood. So, um, finally then, um, how excited are you for the end result, uh, which is of course the opening of the coaster in Summer 2021? Because from what I understand, there's going to be a lot of different theming items that maybe you want to include in the ride, or around the ride. Yeah, we're, we're excited for, for May, for when this, this will open. 
um, especially after the year that 2020 is for the theme park industry to get back. We're excited just, just not only for that, but to be able to have the opportunity to open a new ride and get people really excited to come out. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, the end result is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun to ride. I'm a, I love coasters, been on a, a lot of coasters around the country and, I, but I've never been on a single rail. So I'm just excited to, to jump on this one and, and see how it feels. Cause I've heard they're amazing. Um, but I, we definitely, as this process goes, we want to add our own flair because we know that there are a couple clones out there. So, um, to be able to, uh, really incorporate the theming that we are, we are working with, um, we're looking at adding some lighting packages um, and uh, some obstacles that you'll go through like you're a real stunt pilot. So there's, there's a lot of things that we're looking to do, um, hoping to get them done um, by the opening and to make this ride a, a really a unique ride for, for anybody that comes who's already been on other single rail coasters that this is something that they haven't experienced before. I mean, not only that, but you also have the 10 person trains um, that, will, that, will still make, that will make this uh, a unique ride, especially when you're riding in the back. Yeah, I definitely think this is going to be an exciting ride experience then. Um, so since you're a coaster enthusiast, and I want to sort of uh, put you on the spot with this last question, uh, and it's something the enthusiasts are probably going to look forward to hearing your answers for. Um, after Stump Pilot, if you could pick three types of coasters to put in the park, now this could be realistic choices or dream choices, whereabouts in the park would you put them, what theme would you give them, and what type of coasters would you be looking at? Oh, man. Um, as a coaster enthusiast, I've thought about this a lot. <laughs> so, um, my number one coaster that I would put in the park and it would go before I even, we even knew that stunt pilot was coming. I had this idea of going back to our roots as, you know, an air show type thing and putting, putting a, a coaster out on the main street lawn, which is this big open area at the park right next to the runway and a, a dueling winged launch coaster would be incredible and to be able to call it like a dog fight or something um would would be amazing i mean I, I i can't even describe how how awesome that would be um so something like that would be at, at the top of my dream list um but there's there's the, the cool things that sns is doing with their axis coasters i'd take anything <laughs> anything that i could i could market uh, I'm just really excited about what we're getting right now with this single rail because um, it is really cutting edge and um, something that's going to fit perfectly with what we're trying to do at the park. Yeah, I think that the dueling wing launch coaster is something that a lot of fans will be happy about in the comments down below the video. Um, so yeah, Jordan, thank you very, very much for coming onto the channel today to, and answer some of those questions. Of course, thank you so much for having me. It's been fantastic, honestly. And uh, thank you guys uh, for watching this video. So uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss any more YouTube content. Uh, we've got plenty more over on the second channel for those of you who are football fans as well. And uh, we've got plenty more videos coming over the next few weeks on the channel. So stay tuned for the best of the best. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.